Now let's talk about the lipid catabolism. Catabolism refers to several reactions that produce energy. It is a breakdown of complex organic compounds into simpler compounds. Complex compound, organic compounds, say simple compounds, we bane, or in reactions, ke result may energy be produced. So, yes, catabolism kehlaega. Or lipids ki jab breakdown ho, to isko lipid catabolism kehte hain. It is related to carbohydrate metabolism. Isko carbohydrate metabolism se bhi relate kiya ta sakta because the carbohydrates will turn into fats. Kyunke actually glycerol or fatty acids se milkar hi lipids बनते हैं तो इसको कार्बोहाइड्रेट से रिलेट किया जा सकता है जो कि फैट्स बनाते हैं द ग्लिसरॉल विल पार्टिसिपेट इन ग्लाइकोलिसिस और जो ग्लिसरॉल है वो ग्लाइकोलिसिस के पाथवे में भी एंटर हो जाता है इसलिए इसको कार्बोहाइड्रेट के पाथ मेटाबॉलिज्म से रिलेट किया जा सकता है इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस बिकॉज़ द प्रोड्यूस्ड फैटी एसिड्स विल पार्टिसिपेट इन फैटी एसिड ऑक्सीडेशन लिपिड कैटाबॉलिज्म इंपॉर्टेंट है कि इसमें फैटी एसिड्स की ऑक्सीडेशन होती है थ्रू फैटी एसिड ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोसेस एंड एनर्जी इज प्रोड्यूस्ड थ्रू द प्रोसेस कॉल्ड लाइपोजेनेसिस लाइपोलाइसिस एक्चुअली क्या है द वन वर्ड वाज लाइपोजेनेसिस द द इज लाइपोलाइसिस This is the splitting of fat stimulated by epinephrine, norepinephrine, and cortisol. In this process, fats are split by these um, reactants, and uh, triglycerol or triglycerides are the most abundant dietary lipids in the food. Each triglycerol has a glycerol backbone. Glycerol backbone. This this one, triacyl glycerol. It has glycerol backbone coming from here, and uh, which are esterified. In the ester bond, ban rahe hain with the fatty acid. Okay, so most triglycerols are mixed. The three fatty acids differ in main chain length. The fatty acid here, this can be of different chain length, and uh, number of double bonds. इस फर, इस फैटी एसिड में ये जो आर है इट कैन हैव मल्टीपल सीज लॉन्ग एल फैटी चेन और इसमें डबल बॉन्ड भी हो सकते हैं सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द लिपिड्स और ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स सो इन द स्टेज वन ऑफ ग्लाइपोलिसिस इनिशियली ट्राइग्लिसराइड इज ब्रोकन डाउन और थ्रू लाइपेज इनसाइन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वॉट One fatty acid is removed from here, and uh, this is uh, the structure remains as diglyceride, which again lipase uh, further acts on diglyceride, turning into converting into monoglyceride, and the lipase hydrolyzes. Uh, this is the whole thing that lipase hydrolyzes diglycerol, releasing one fatty acid at a time, producing diglycerol, and eventually glycerol. The end of the process: three fatty acid and one glycerol. so three fatty acids can be removed eventually and one glycerol will be uh, this whole thing will be released this is glycerol glycerol arising from hydrolysis of triglycerol glycerols is converted into glycolysis intermediate dihydroxy acetone glycerol this is a uh, uh, come up coming from hydrolysis of uh, triglyceride triglycerol in the last previous slide it enters into the glycolysis uh, it, it it gets converted into glycolysis intermediate dihydroxy acetone phosphate by reaction catalyzed by glycerol kinase and glycerol phosphate dehydrogenase glycerol is first converted in the presence of atp to adp mm, this is the first step and it is converted in glycerol 3 phosphate and uh, this is again converted into dihydroxy acetone phosphate and two molecules of dihydroxy acetone phosphate are released here let's see the whole process reaction dihydroxy acetone phosphate 
this is acetone group dihydroxy acetone phosphate it gets isomerized to in the presence of phosphatriose it gets isomerized to glycerylehyde 3 phosphate Mm, and uh, in this reaction, two molecules of glycerylehyde 3 phosphate are produced. Glycerylehyde 3 phosphate can also be synthesized from glycerol and fats by phosphorylation, and this is kind of a reversible reaction. So, let's see how uh, lipids or fats they enter into the Krebs cycle. Uh, lipids fats they get converted into glycerol and fatty acids we have already discussed just now and glycerol it gets converted into dihydroxyacetone phosphate and it gets isomerized to glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate it enters into the glycolysis pathway producing pyruvic acid and and uh, after reacting with acetyl coenzyme A, it enters into the crab cycle so Mm, the, uh, on the other way, the fatty acids coming from lipids, they through pit oxidation, they get converted into acetyl coenzyme A, which again links with the Krebs cycle, finally. So this is the whole process of uh, lipid catabolism, which eventually ends uh, up with the, the energy production during the cycle of uh, Tricyclic acid cycle during that cycle.